At the blessed baker, Debbie Reed pulled in her outdoor chairs just to be safe. I had heard that they might come and protest at around 4 o'clock today. Butcher Rick Hall made his presence felt by sitting outside his shop. Because they're supposed to protest and they ain't going to tear my building up. And at Lynn's Antiques, the owner made a call for backup. First thing I did was text my husband to make sure he's here, so he's here. Collinsville police officers were literally walking the beat to place residents at ease. So we came out here on Main Street just to kind of reassure the businesses that we were here in case anything did happen. With nightly images of rioting and vandalism on the news, quite naturally, people are on edge. I think some people were fearful, so fearful that they were armed and prepared. That fear has translated into more sales at Medlock Firearms. Yes, there has been a significant increase. So take all of that and you've got the temperature of the situation. When lo and behold, walking down Main Street, the protesters were spotted. Three young girls, yeah. Three young girls. <laughs> and only three young girls. Thought there was going to be a little bit more people, but no. <laughs> Sayla, Grace, and her friend heard the same rumors about a protest, but turned out to be the only protesters who turned out standing on the corner of 10th and Main for an hour. It's really a peaceful way that we're out here, and there might be some people that don't like it, but that's just the way it is with issues like this. Three teenage girls whose accidentally tiny protest ended up grabbing some big attention. The hope is that it will lead to change, yeah.